Uncle, you better come look at this. What? It's a white man standing in the street. I seen one. Not like this. Down there in one one. Welcome to part two of the map tier list. This is these are the maps we got through the first time around. Thankfully, the website stores your progress and uh, we have all of these to go through still. Bear in mind, again, most of these I'm going to go through very quickly. Also, for some reason, Mulder Grove is in here twice, but um, most of these are going to go pretty quick because these involve alternative game modes that are kind of shit. Now, what what will like what will is again, just just to reiterate more on what will on, on my my thoughts on what will again, why Valve decided to add what is effectively a gimmicky community server map as an official map inside of Team Fortress 2. I will never understand why they did this. I will never understand why they decided to start adding Christmas themed maps. I guess their mentality is that they're trying to appeal to a more general, broad, younger audience. Younger people that expect these types of holiday events and holiday items inside of their online multiplayer games because every other major title does it. So I guess Valve felt the need to adapt and compete with these other titles by putting this kind of crap in the game when it simply doesn't belong and no one fucking likes it and it plays like shit it's optimized like shit it's not fun it's just a terrible map through and through and everyone who says that they have a good time on it is lying they're only saying it for the meme and they're not actually being serious the shit map it's fucking terrible they should have never put it in the game because it set the precedent for all the following festive maps that for some reason valve keeps fucking picking nightfall okay so payload race nightfall it I like Nightfall. It's uh it's a little big for payload race. The flanks take you really far around some areas of the map, but it does play reasonably well, and it is pretty fun. The last stage is a little bit shit because it's effectively just one big open area that is completely dominated by a single sniper. I will definitely say that I have a lot more fun on pipeline. I'll probably bump pipeline a Above, probably above all of these actually probably like somewhere here i like pipeline then and then nightfalls probably probably just uh, no i like steel more probably down here Pi nightfalls around here they're both pretty average just decent okay payload race maps for me the quintessential and like the best payload race map will always and forever be Banana Bay. Pipeline and Nightfall come from a different era of TF2 where it, the game played differently, different unlocks, different balancing, and I suppose for an older version of the game, it was pretty decent, but nowadays it's just, they're not, they're not fantastic, but whenever I do play on them, I do find myself having a lot more fun than I would, like, I have way more fun on these maps than any of these, for sure. But I definitely have more fun. I'm gonna bump Hightower a little bit. We'll probably put Hightower, like, here. Steel's better than Hightower. Well, I'll, I'll make, I'll make more, I'll make more subtle adjustments later. Buyer. So, Buyer is, Buyer's Arena. We're in the Arena maps now. So, here's the thing about Arena Mode. Controversial take. I don't like Arena Mode. I'm, I'm not a fan of how Arena Mode works. I don't like waiting five minutes to play the game, playing for 20 seconds, dying, and then having to wait five minutes again just to play the game again. It's why I don't enjoy Battle Royale games, because I, I spend more time sitting around and waiting than actually playing the game. And to me, that's just not fun. It works okay for TF2, but at the end of it, it's just, it's, it's just like, it's just a team-based battle royale. It's not, it's not very fun. I don't like it. Arena mode is just a predecessor for team deathmatch a la player destruction. And that is way more fun because it's literally the exact same thing, except you're allowed to respawn. And it's way more fun because you get to respawn. Buyer I really, I honestly think Buyer is pretty bad. I do not like how this map is designed. The buildings are very isolated in these and there's also like huge areas of the map that you really just never touch. And when you're inside of one of these buildings, they're incredibly easy to defend with like a single heavy and a single medic that can completely dominate the map with like a tiny bit of coordination. Aesthetically, it's cool because it came from the invasion update, but it's just really, it's really not that good. If I'm going to play arena mode, there are other maps I would much prefer. And one of them is not Granary because I fucking hate Granary to begin with. It takes all of the things that Granary has and puts it into a game mode that I 
find far less interesting than 5 CP, and so it's gonna be rated below normal granary at the bottom of pretty fucking bad. Lumberyard, however, if I'm gonna play arena mode, I'm gonna consider that one pretty good. I'm gonna bump it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like I can't rate arena maps higher than like anything else in their respective tier. Lumberyard's probably one of the more fun arena maps. It's you know it's like the classic. This is what you expect when you play arena mode. Aside from off blast, definitely one of the more well designed ones where you're not immediately fucked by someone as soon as you spawn. You have a little time to kind of mosey around the map and get into some interesting fights. The rounds don't last hideously long as they do on other maps. From what I can remember, this one was at least fairly passable back when arena mode was widely available and played not only on Valve servers, but also community servers. And Lumberyard was definitely one of the ones that was far more fun. Arena Nucleus, it's not pretty bad. It's just below average and in my eyes below, below Lumberyard. I much prefer the King of the Hill version, again, because you're allowed to respawn and Nucleus just works better as the King of the Hill map, which is also funny. Most arena maps work better as just King of the Hill. Lumberyard has been remade into a King of the Hill map multiple times and it's infinitely more fun. And Nucleus is a King of the Hill map and it's way more fun as King of the Hill. We'll get to that in a bit. But the arena version of Nucleus, I just really don't enjoy because you die incredibly fast on Nucleus because the entire map is an open bowl of a sight line. As soon as you spawn, a sniper insta kills you. And guess what? You're waiting five minutes again to play in the next round. And it sucks. Actually, no, I'm going to bump it down to pretty bad in that regard, actually. But I like it better than Granary. Off Blast. I'm going to rate it above Lumberyard. I think Off Blast. Off Blast was a map that was specifically designed for arena mode. And it plays incredibly well as a result. It's pretty choky. It's pretty tight. But for that reason, because the map is so small, the rounds go fairly quickly quickly. That is a really nice bonus when you're playing arena mode because you're not having to wait half an hour for the next round. If you're going to play arena mode, off blast is the map to do it on. So um, I think actually I'm going to bump off blast a little bit. Yeah, we'll put off blast up here as like the best arena mode, I say. Man, Ravine, you know what? I think I'm going to have I have to put Ravine inside of no experience because I may have played this map like three times over my entirety of playing Team Fortress 2. I never played on this map back in the heyday, and I think I only accidentally stumbled upon servers that were running this map. I found myself playing on Hydro more. Only ever played Ravine on randomizer. Yeah, a lot of people use this map for special like goofy gimmicks like times 10 randomizer, Saxon Hail. Yeah, they I played Ravine more on Saxon Hill than actual Arena. Yeah, uh, Arena Sawmill, pretty bad. I would much rather play normal King of the Hill Sawmill, and I would much rather play Capture the Flag Sawmill than I would Arena Sawmill. Again, because I am just allowed to respawn. Yeah, so I'm going to keep it down here. I'm actually going to bump Snowplow above CTF Sawmill because it's just a little bit. Watchtower. Okay, so Watchtower is one that I just have to put in I don't know because this just comes from an ancient, ancient bygone era of TF2, where most people are familiar with Watchtower because it was heavily used inside of Gmod animations and shorts back in the day. Very few people played on it and actually experienced how this map behaves. It's absolutely awful. It's just a big open sight line for snipers. It's hell. It can be fun pushing into the tower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll plop, I'm, I'm gonna leave it in, I don't know. Watchtower feels so unrefined and feels so, so just, just unpolished that it really didn't fit too well. I should say it doesn't fit well in like modern versions of the game, but if you go back in the day, which is, yeah, you, you bring up a good point. Back when sniper mains weren't a thing, like when the game was first released and everyone was like on a very similar playing field, then yeah, Watchtower was, you know, you know, probably a more fun experience than it would be now, but because people dump thousands of hours into the class that can insta-kill you from across the entire map, this map is no longer fun to play on. Watchtower was someone's first map, the guy makes furry models, now, hopefully his furry models are better than the maps he makes because Watchtower is just not that good. Arena, Arena, well, uh, well plays okay for Arena. It probably plays better than all of these, but it's still not that great. I don't have much, I never had much fun playing on Arena well. I much prefer playing CTF well, which is why I rate CTF well so highly. Again, it's Arena mode. I don't, I don't like it much and well plays decently with the game mode, but I just, I don't like it that much. Now we're moving on to King of the Hill. 
And Badlands, in my opinion, behaves far better as a King of the Hill map than a 5 CP map. It's tighter, faster rounds. If I'm going to be playing on King of the Hill, it's going to be on Badlands. It's definitely good. It's, it's absolutely one of my selections. And the main reason why I like Badlands so much is that it's not like other King of the Hill maps where it's a big fucking open bowl that is completely shut down by the presence of a single engineer or a single sniper. There's a lot of different pathways. There's a lot of cover, a lot of verticality and interesting terrain that can make very interesting rounds on this King of the Hill map. I'm actually going to put it like somewhere in average, fairly high above. It's, it's, it's like an above average good King of the Hill map in my eyes. And then, but a map that is not good is uh, Brazil. Holy shit. Brazil is honestly one of the worst maps they've they've ever added into the game it's one of the most poorly optimized maps ever placed into the game it runs like ass you will never get above 30 frames on this map and it plays like absolute dick it's in the shape of a horseshoe but you somehow never see half of the map and then the entire tower area is completely open to like 50 different sight lines right so like like envision the side of an old warship, like old iron side, right? Where you have all of these fucking cannons sticking out of the side. And then if you look at Brazil, just look, look how fucking awful this is, dude. Here's the point, And you're only ever playing in this horseshoe area. Most of the time, this inner area around here is almost never used. Everyone cuts through this building and only plays like around here and then when you're standing on the point you have a billion different sniper sight lines that all attached to it from all of these different areas it's like shooting fish in a barrel it's fucking awful it's so open there's no cover it's just a miserable experience all around it's not fun and look how big this fucking map is look at all of this unused area that impacts performance jesus fucking christ and not only that like getting to the point is an entirely uphill battle so as soon as someone has a heavy presence they're just able to completely dominate any way the other team could go and shut down any kind of a push yeah the unused stuff should be inside of a skybox exactly i fucking hate this map it is horrible Okay, Harvest. I'm gonna put Harvest at the top of below average for, for King of the Hill. I don't like Harvest for several reasons, right? And I, I, I have to I have to pull up I have to pull up my fucking MS paint again. One, this spawn is incredibly easy to camp because you have high ground immediately in front of it. You can just get people up here, they can shoot down into your spawn, and it's fucking ass. As soon as you spawn, most people funnel in this direction, and then they can get immediately sniped from several areas and get completely fucked over. And then this entire area is completely open and absolutely dominated by more snipers that can shoot all the way across the map or all the way across from this rooftop and, and shut everything down. And also forgot snipers can come from this building. It's it. Ugh. It's it's too open and there's not a lot of opportunities for cover. And then when you decide to cut through the building, it just pops you up into this only area right here where you have some cover, but then you're forced to go out into these massive open areas where you just get domed. Absolutely. It's just it's never fun. It's only fun when you don't have a 3500 hour sniper main shutting down the entire experience. And even then it's so open and flat. And there's not a lot of interesting terrain that you put one competitive scout in this area and the entire map is fucking awful. It's very flat. The main problem is that it's very flat, and then the only places where you have high ground are immediately outside of spawn, where it's useless to the people that are spawning, except for snipers, or it's co completely disadvantageous for the people who are being pushed all the way back to their spawn because they're having to shoot, they're having to deal with people that are shooting down into their spawn. And then if you have this upper, up, this upper area in here is far too enclosed, you can't have any kind of interesting fights up here unless you park a sniper who's just gonna shut down the entire fucking map. I hate this map. It's I, I I rarely have fun on it, but it's still definitely better than other King of the Hill maps. So I'm actually going to put it down here. I have more fun on any of these than I do harvest. High pass. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have high pass. King of the Hill high pass, in my opinion, is the best King of the Hill map in the game. It's honestly the best design because of how many different ways you can get to the point. So I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to bother opening this in MS Paint, but I like this map because you have a whole you have it's it's not just two or three chokes funneling into one small area that's directly in front of the point. You have a lot of different you can take one, two, 
two, three, four, five. You have five different pathways that can lead you to the point, and you're not being funneled into a tiny little choke just to get to the point. This entire area remains open, but there's also a fuckload of good cover, and because the point is slightly raised, you don't have to deal with snipers that are able to completely dominate the entire map by perching themselves up somewhere. Snipers have to push up pretty fucking far that they can easily they can easily be dealt with. The only problem area tends to be right around here and a couple of spots inside of this building that can be a little bit annoying. This map is easily just one of the best King of the Hill maps, period, because you have a decent amount of verticality, a lot of good cover, a lot of different pathways that lead you to the point. And as a bonus, it is very, very hard to spawn camp on this map. Honestly, the best one in the game I for King of the Hill, period. I, I really enjoy it. I'm gonna put it like around, like up here. Like it's it's an it's indefinitely in the upper echelon of maps. It's very good, and also not shut down by the presence of one engineer. Not shut down by the presence of one sniper. It's just it's just good. Kong King is definitely just your average King of the Hill experience. The central point is a little bit too open in that it's completely again dominated by the presence of a single sniper who can just camp out by the stairs that take them up from spawn. It's a little bit too easy to spawn camp as well. I I do like how the central point is designed in that you have lower pathways that can take you out of the upper level that is that sightline area and you can just come up onto the point from that lower level that adds a lot of depth i guess you could say to the map it's very fun if there isn't a 2500 hour sniper main then you're having a good time on this map kong king is one of the better king of the hill maps in the game i would say it's average but not like amazing i'm gonna put it like up here we'll put it like kong king's about right there I would say. Uh, Lakeside, I don't like Lakeside. So Lakeside is just high pass, but on crack and without all of the cover that you need to be able to progress onto the point. The problem with Kong King is that the point is raised so high up that as soon as the enemy team has a dominating presence over it, they're able to shoot down on anyone who's trying to push in, right? They have two tiers of high ground to work with, right? Hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Like, if you have your presence on this point, you have two tiers of high ground, almost three tiers of high ground to work with to keep pushing the enemy team back. And they have to do, they have to deal with not one, not two, but three elevated areas in order to have some kind of reasonable presence on the map. And because the only other flank that's covered can completely be shut down by the presence of one person, one sniper kind of parked here that can shut down this whole area and view this entire area. It's just too open. There's not enough cover. I feel like if this and this were lower than the main point then it would work a lot better it's just not fun and it's just so open where you park a sniper here you park a sniper here you park a sniper here they have complete free reign over the entire map and it just it just sucks it really does and engineers can be pretty annoying if they manage to get set up like right here in this cubby it's pretty easily spammed out if you're hanging out in this lower area as demo man you can just shoot up into there and deal with them but as soon as you try to go cap the point you have a fuckload of different places that a sniper could be to just immediately shut you down and it's just it's not fun i do not like is very bad no thank you uh, I'm going to say Lakeside is below average and probably somewhere down here. I probably have more fun on Lakeside than I do Gravel Pit or Harvest, but it, it is absolutely below average. Lazarus. Oh, God. Lazarus has several issues. It's everyone is being funneled into the main open area through three different super tight sorry four different super tiny hallways that are really easy to spam out if your team has been pushed back just a little bit if they can't get out of these tiny chokes you're absolutely fucked right one good thing about this map is this one does the horseshoe shaped map correctly in that the lower part of the horseshoe isn't exposed to the point right it offers a different flank route that can get you pretty close to the point but it's not this big open stupid thing like brazil is it's definitely a lot more fun than brazil i have a lot more fun on lazarus than i do lakeside or harvest but another big problem is that this map is is shit in terms of optimization this is another map that is not well optimized it's buggy you have you have the curse of the white boxes i don't know why they've never bothered to fix this map it's another map where you get 30 frames on like the beefiest of computers and it just it sucks and yeah someone says tight spam fest absolutely it's a tight fucking spam fest as soon as someone has maintained control over the point 
point. And as soon as they make, if, as soon as they get control over the point, they just have to hide behind the area that curves into the point and then just spam down into those four different pathways. And it's just, ugh. I think Minecraft runs better than Lazarus. Yeah, I agree. Nucleus. Oh God. So like I have a, I have a, like Nucleus is one of the few maps that's in the shape of a circle, right? And it's interesting in that you have this ability, you have this ability to go all the way around the map and avoid the entire central area to then get you to the other side and make for some interesting pushes and some interesting plays. The only problem is that it's just so fucking open. The entire point is just one massive open sight line. You put one sniper anywhere on the map and he has complete dominion over where most people are going to be playing. Thankfully, you have the entire ring that takes you around the map where you can flank all the way around them for the most part. But if anyone has a single shred of situational awareness on this in this game, that's typically not going to help you either. You know, you know what this map is the best for? Demo Knight. You can flank all the way around as Demo Knight as you have these nice big long linear hallways and you can just go to town as Demo Knight on this map on either the upper level or the lower level. It's super fucking fun. You can avoid capturing capturing the point the entire time and still have a good experience on this map. So I'm actually going to bump it above bad water and above fast lane and probably I'm going to put it at the top of below average. I also have a lot of fond memories on this map because when I first really got neck deep into playing the game to very unhealthy levels, I played a ridiculous amount of sniper on King of the Hill. Like the first like 200 hours I have in the game were primarily put as sniper on Nucleus on my main Steam account. Nucleus is like drinking muddy water. It's fine, but I wouldn't take it over some Dasani. Yeah. Or, or, or tea for those preferring. Yeah. It's just, it's just okay. It's fairly average. Probed is fucking awesome. I, uh, I think, oh God, do I put it in come tier? I think it's another just really well-designed map. It's it's just really fun. It's 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 not a big open bowl. You have good verticality, a lot of interesting terrain. I know I keep saying that, but it's just not a flat. It's not flat like Harvest. It's not a big open bowl like Lakeside or Nucleus. You have a lot of interesting pathways. It's also in that horseshoe shape, but you have different pathways to take through that horseshoe. It's just it's just a really good map. It's just really fun. It, it, it just scratches is that itch. I don't know why. It's just, it's just really fun. I like this map a lot. I like no single class has a miserably oppressive presence on probed. Even snipers have like only one sight line they can work with. And they're like, a, there's a lot of different ways you can flank on this map. A lot of different pathways you can tank to take to stay hidden. I don't know. It's just, it's very fun. And it is such a, yeah, I agree. It's such a fucking shame that this map is relegated to the alternative game modes category. Why? It's king of the fucking hill. It just has bombs and a spaceship on it. Put it in the normal King of the Hill category. Way more people would play it if they knew it was there. It's so fucking fun. It's one of my favorite maps in the game, and I wish more people played on it. It sucks that no one does. Take just just get rid of the special game modes category in its entirety, except for Hydro and and um, uh, Watergate. Yeah, Bread Space has bombs, and yet for some reason that one's not in special game mode. Bombs, lamp oil. You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. Sawmill, like King of the Hill Sawmill is just the superior version of Sawmill. Capture the flag, Sawmill sucks. Festive, Sawmill sucks. Spooky, Sawmill sucks. I will say it plays a whole hell of a lot better than Nucleus. It's, you have some issues with Sniper on certain sight lines, but there's a lot of different pathways you can take to avoid it. It also offers that option where you can flank all the way around the map for some interesting plays to like try and and get behind the team and try to push from there. Yeah, I just I just really enjoy this one. It's it's better than Nucleus. The only thing I don't like about Sawmill is that your spawn takes you along this very long open sight line that can be shut down by a sniper who's managed to flank all the way around and kind of park themselves in that shed and they can just have complete dominance over your spawn. It's it's it's, it's in like an area of steel. I will definitely say it's 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 just your average average one. Swedish sucks. Fucking hate this map. I and it's it's not insufferable, but it's it's pretty fucking bad. It's another map that is just hideously optimized. It does not it does not run well. 30 FPS the entire time. Half the map goes completely unused. No one goes to like the main big temple area. The middle point is just a giant rectangular prism with one tier, and you're just shooting down into it. And then if you want to push into it, you have to deal with whatever fucking massive amounts of 
spam exist inside of there already for you to deal with. It is just not a fun map. It is, it's just not fun. It has a lot of annoying high ground where snipers can completely dominate half the map. You put someone out in that main temple area and they can see over the entire fucking map. It's just, it's too big, it's too open, but then the central point is too small and too enclosed. And it's just, it's not fun. It's another map that is hideously overrated that everyone likes to pretend they enjoy, but no one does. The only thing that this map has going for it is that there's a lot of ways to fuck around on it. But the instant people start taking the map even remotely seriously, it just devolves into complete unfun hell. The flank routes are okay. Yeah, the flank routes are okay, but like the main flank takes you so far out of the way into that area that's so far away from the point. Just, just chop it off. I'll put it above two fort though. And perhaps I'll put it above like these. It's still, it's still pretty fucking bad, but it's around there. Viaduct is also another very hideously overrated King of the Hill map where it's, it has, it has some of the things that High Pass has going for it. High Pass took all of the good things out of Viaduct and just made them better. You have very, you have like four or five different pathways that can take you to the point, but they all coalesce into this funnel that takes you directly to the small capture area. And it's really easily spammed out. The uh, snipers are insanely oppressive on this map. And you also, yeah, it's very easy to spawn camp on this map. It's, it's just really sweaty. This map gets really fucking sweaty. I hate it. Very rarely do I find myself having a good time on this map. I will say that it plays better. It's like, it's, it's in this area. And yeah, also, yes, I agree. Uncle Topia fucking destroyed this map for me. It is, it's, it's just no longer fun. And hey, I agree. It's fucking, it's cancerous. Doomsday. Special delivery works. It does work for TF2. It is effectively something of a glorified version of Capture the Flag. It does play really well. I just wish that the only map that we have with this game mode was a little bit more refined. Like having to go get the Australium, it's a little bit far out of the way. And then the main area where the rocket is, it's a little bit too open. There's a lot of different ways you can go. You have that high ground, you have that low ground it's just it it plays fairly well for what it is the only problem that i have with doomsday is when you cap you have this raising central point that just makes you this big fucking beacon that everyone just coalesces around and it's almost impossible to ever cap on this map i don't know but i i it's another one of those maps where much like stand in i don't know if i can give it a rating this game mode absolutely feels like something that belongs in tf2 unlike stand-in. And yeah, Doomsday also has that problem where it's a little bit too big. You have a lot of huge areas that just go unused. Like a lot of the back area of the map that takes you towards where the Australium is just remains empty. No one's ever fighting in there. All of the action is occurring in the area of the rocket where you leap through that one spawn that takes you directly to the point. And then you might have one or two people that are actually playing the objective that go and pick up the Australium and then take it to that central point area. As soon as the Australium has traversed that unnecessarily long walkway from where it's um, spawned to the point that whole back area of the map just remains unused. It would be used more if you could actually use that back side of the map to like flank to the other side, but there's like a big fucking wall there and then like a pit in the middle. So there's no convenient way for anyone to actually go and use that as a flank to get to the other side. I don't think Doomsday is better than Foundry, but it's better than 5CP Well. I don't know, I like 5CP Well more. I'll put it, okay, I'll put it at the bottom of average. How's that? It, 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 it will exist in the area of Off Blast where it's kind Kind of from this bygone era where older versions of the game, where people weren't nearly as good as they are now, allowed for more fun rounds on Doomsday. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom of average. People do kind of forget that this map is pretty fun. And most people's experience with this map is only the Halloween version, which is really unfortunate because of all the stupid gimmicks they decided to worm into it. I much prefer the original version of Doomsday, but the Halloween version's okay. I just hate the fucking bumper car games. The, the bumper car our games are fucking stupid. I hate them. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add, add a row below for MVM. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna bother rating the MVM maps because I, I genuinely like don't have that much experience with Man vs. Machine. I'll just give my quick
quick thoughts on all of these. So Big Rock, you know, that's Mecha NG. That tends to be fun. Coal Town is pretty boring. Decoy is pretty boring. Manhattan and Rottenburg are just two cities, two shitties. And you, it's this, this is like bread and butter. This is, this is what most people play now for the loot. Manworks, Expert is ass. I'll, I'll just say a few comments on MBM. MBM nowadays is just always more fun with friends. Have fun, dick around, and don't, don't like try to sweat too hard. You don't need to try very hard on any man versus machine mission to actually make progress. If you have like a minimal amount of coordination with someone, then you're going to be able to finish whatever tour you decide to play. I just... It's just, uh, I'm, I'm burnt out on MVM because there's not, there's been nothing new with MVM and then all of the community made stuff with MVM just pushes it a little bit too far. It's not hard enough ever since they allowed you to have infinitely refundable upgrades at the end of each mission or the end of each wave. It significantly lessened the challenging aspect of MVM and it lost a lot of its charm back then. And all of the custom MVM missions that I see that the community whatever makes, I, they're just not very fun. They go, they go a little berserk. Oh, sorry, Ghost Town's on here too. Uh, this one, this one's fun because this, this one is just a shit fest. No one takes this seriously. Everyone does like a stupid gimmick and they see what they can get away with. I think Ghost Town is the most fun because it is the stupid go crazy with like an infinite amount of credits and see what you can pull off, right? Like six scorch shot pyros are is fucking stupid on this map and it works. Or like nothing but righteous bison soldiers or nothing but loose cannon demo men. It, you can have a lot of fun doing stupid gimmicks on. on goes down so th this one's fun all right and uh manpower i i will i don't like manpower sorry I'm, I'm putting all the manpower maps and i'm putting all the pastime maps inside of insufferable and and flaccid i do not like pastime and i do not like manpower mode these are two different games that behave like wacky custom modded servers and if you want that experience you can go have that inside of a community server i don't think trying to transfer form tf2 into something it isn't is appropriate for the game why are we trying to transform tf2 into this weird soccer football kind of a game it's just and the maps that they designed for it are just so big and open and absolutely dominated by a single engineer it's just it's just not fun i feel like they tried to turn tf2 into a different game but because they couldn't remove what makes tf2 tf2 it doesn't work very well right? I feel like if all of the mercenaries had the same health, the same weapons, and only, and, and the, the soccer gimmick was the same, then the game would play better. But because it's just Team Fortress 2 with this extra game slapped on top of it, it's like trying to play chess when you're playing rugby. They don't, they don't mix well, and the metas in order to win are just really stale and really boring. It's not good, and I, I've never had fun playing pastime. As for me, manpower mode just play on a wacky custom weapon server it's just adding more complexity to a game and it's, it's adding more complexity and more stats to keep track of to a game that's already very complex and then adding grappling hooks why you end up developing these weird metas and i think the guy who developed manpower mode or man up whatever the fucking game mode's called hyper curated and completely changed the balancing of how a lot of different classes weapons and things work it's fucking weird. It's it, it's not the right kind of environment or pacing that makes TF2 fun. It absolutely appeals to someone seeking out a different game that isn't Team Fortress 2. Uh, okay, yeah, you bring up a good point. Manpower makes me think of Quake, but there's like seven different quad damages lying around and that's not fun. You're absolutely right. It's like they tried to re-inject certain aspects of Quake, like being able to B-hop and move faster by using the grappling hook and then getting like these armor power-ups and these damage boosting power-ups it's not as it's not as simple as like quake was right quake you have the same weapons across all the same people across everyone but here you have different classes with different health pools with different abilities with different weapons and then adding all of like these quake style power-ups on top of that with movement enhancing grappling hooks it just 
turns it into a clusterfuck and it's not fun like these extraneous game modes that start steering tf2 away from what it is which is this class-based multiplayer first person shooter centered around territory control and defense by using your class's individual abilities and tactics and what have you in coordination with your team once you start tearing yourself too far away from that and starting to turn it into fucking soccer it's not fun and i don't enjoy them and i i honestly don't know how anyone can enjoy these game modes if you do fine that's your flavor but it certainly isn't mine i just don't think they should have ever been official additions inside of the game i don't understand why valve thought okay yeah i mean it's it's it's, it's cool to see valve back in the day like experimenting with what tf2 could do but it definitely seems like that these developers were more interested in making a different game and using tf2 as kind of like this base as like the building block for it without having to like completely design a new game from scratch is what it is what it feels like and it and it just doesn't work i do not like them so they're gonna these these alternative game modes for me are just gonna be relegated into the insufferable and flaccid category because i just i don't i don't enjoy them they're not tf2 but when i remember manpower being put into the game it was this very interesting novelty at first like oh hey yeah this is this is interesting this is something new to try out but then when people dove in and played it a lot of people most people didn't like it and it died very quickly and even then even though it was still getting like active updates and active tweaks and bounds changes and support it could not draw players in because people were booting up tf2 for the regular expected experience that you normally have inside of team fortress 2 that's it watergate oh watergate you are you are special you are the potential that is wasted you are one of the most fun maps in the game one of the most fun game modes in the game that is just squandered player destruction is just an enhanced version of team deathmatch and it just works and watergate gives you an objective for team deathmatch which is just collecting the bottles and then all the halloween versions which are collecting the souls it is a good game it's a good game mode and i like it oh i absolutely think that watergate is is tf2 for sure and i'm rating this map so high because the game mode is so good and i wish more maps outside of halloween and fucking christmas use this game mode of player destruction it's a shame it's mostly relegated to nothing but halloween or nothing but festive updates man watergate absolutely has flaws in that the central point is way too open this more or less plays like a king of the hill map effectively it's just the point opens periodically it's completely dominated by like one or two snipers that have one sightling that completely opens uh, they completely dominate the entire central area but there are a lot of interesting flanks you can take to get around them and wrap around them to deal with them right you're not at the complete mercy of them the entire time the game mode is good but the map is awful i can kind of agree with that there's a lot of but i don't think i honestly don't think the map is that bad and i, I there are improvements they could make and i liked i liked the alien gimmick it was very novel at the time but again it's just relegated to special game modes and and no one plays on it and and good luck playing on it now because you know bots are in the game and because the map is so open you'll never be able to actually enjoy the true experience of this map which is really unfortunate it sucks uh snowville ass what i'm about to say about snowville you're gonna hear a lot about all of the other, all, all, about many other Halloween and Christmas maps, all right? The, the Christmas aesthetic should have never been implemented for Team Fortress 2 maps. They're goofy, they're out of place, they just don't resonate with the stylization of the game, and it's just ugly. This map in particular is horrifically optimized, it's just not fun it's like we don't need more festive reskins They're, they don't offer new experiences I, I explained this in the first part too it's why i don't like snowfall it's why i don't like snowville but reskin maps like this do not offer a brand new experience i would much rather go and play the vanilla version of the map that looks like it belongs in tf2 that has the aesthetic of tf2 that still plays well but and it doesn't have all of the silly stupid gimmicky shit slapped into it yeah it's it's free money it is it is effectively free money to just do a reskin of a map you don't have to put any sort of significant effort into doing a map reskin you're just changing existing textures and that's it and that's what snowville is and when maps are the only things that valve put into the game that offer us new experiences when you're just giving us a reskin it's absolutely nothing new give us new maps that are not the exact same as existing maps i fucking hate it stop putting maps like this in the game no one enjoys them harvest event 
is just a reskin of Harvest, right? It come, it's like, this was the first Halloween map that was ever released. Most Halloween maps, like the OG Halloween maps, right, are just reskins of existing maps. But their stylization, the gimmicks they incorporate are things that you still expect to see inside of TF2. You don't have weird over color corrections that deviate from the aesthetic stylization of Team Fortress 2. They still play like TF2 maps. They still look like TF2 maps. The experience doesn't doesn't offer much much of anything new it still feels like team fortress 2 when you're playing on these older reskins and that's why i think these older reskins are far more special and far more suitable and appropriate for the game and much like fucking man manor which i will always hold as one of the best halloween maps they ever added it's a reskin of mountain lab but it's transformative enough because it looks entirely different it still plays fairly similar but you have the added layer of the addition of that halloween boss back when Halloween bosses weren't used as a layering gimmick onto these new Halloween maps that people feel compelled to add to give this genuine Halloween experience? No, these Halloween bosses were specifically designed for a single map and they do not incorporate well into brand new maps. And for whatever reason, people feel, ob mappers feel obligated to like cram in as many of these existing gimmicks as possible and it just turns them into a clusterfuck and they're not fun. They were fun on these older maps because they were new and novel at the time. But much like my cake argument that I was making earlier, where you have a fucking piece of cake and you keep eating pieces of cake over and over and over again, you get fucking sick of it. And Man Manor was, it, it comes from the OG era, the original era, the good era of when these Halloween updates were new and novel and special and really fun and most welcome to get this really cool and spooky reskin that wasn't this over the top, really weird aesthetic thing, or this weird thing that, that aesthetically deviated from the style of Team Fortress 2, like Bloodwater, Bone Saws, and, and Hell Train, and all of these things that just don't look like TF2 maps, right? Yeah, I miss when Scream Fortress was actually spooky, and it was like, and like the lore with all the different maps was like incorporated into the game. It was, it was just fun. It was, it was, you know what it was? It was simple. It was just simple. It was a simple reskin that looked like it belonged in Team Fortress 2. They add a couple, or they add one or two simple gimmicks that they tie to the rest of the game, the style stylization, kind of what you would expect, and they're just still fun to play on. Now, everything has to be this over-the-top fucking mess, and they have to make their maps look like Overwatch maps for some reason, and I don't fucking get it. Iaduct. Here's my problem with Iaduct. So, Iaduct, much like Ghost Fort, I, I have to be obligated to put into the below average, in, into below average, right? Both of these maps would be, would be cum. And the only reason why they're not is because Valve fucking put the truce. They added the truce to these maps, and it's such, it's one of the dumbest changes they ever put in the game. Get rid of the stupid fucking truce. I want to be able to shoot people and the boss at the same fucking time. It's infinitely more fun to do that. Who cares if these fucking new brand installed players can't get their fucking achievement items? Fuck off. Just keep playing on the map more. I don't want to spend 30 fucking minutes fighting Marasmus for the 13th time. Fuck off. And same for Monoculus. It's just not fun. And people still fuck with you with the truce. The truce introduced more problems than it solved. Get rid of it. And because they added it, I have to put them both in below average, right? The bosses are fun. They're uniquely designed for their respective maps and they work incredibly well. The gimmicks are fun on these maps, but the truce fucking ruins them. Hell Tower was the beginning of the end when Valve decided to start incorporating Halloween spells. This is when Scream Fortress started getting a little bit too crazy. It started deviating from what made it fun it wasn't so far over the edge but it was it was definitely getting to the point where it's like okay this is a little bit too much uh, most of the spells are just not fun to play with because most of them are just insta kill spells right most are insta kill spells they do ridiculous amounts of damage they send you flying halfway across the map they severely impact performance they spawn miniature versions of existing bosses that are awful to fight against and then when you have 12 of people on either side having access to all of these spells at the same time, it's an absolute 
fucking mess. The reason why Halloween bosses work so well and pumpkin bombs work so well is because they were sporadic. They weren't these things that were constantly present on the map all the time and constantly impacting the flow of a round, right? It's a clusterfuck. Hell Tower is thankfully like open enough and it's more or less a DM map anyways than it is a payload race map or any other kind of a game mode map where spells are somewhat appropriate for it. But any other map that incorporates the Halloween spell gimmick is just, ah, it's like, it's, it's definitely down here. I have more fun on it than like, we'll, we'll put it near the top of pretty bad. It's bad. I like it more than pier and that's saying something. And Carnival of Carnage is shit. They took Doomsday, which I already mentioned is a pretty poorly, it's, it's not a refined map. They didn't incorporate any of the improvements that Doomsday needed and they chose this map as a Halloween reskin for some reason. I mean, it looks cool. You know, it gave, it breathed a little bit more life into like Marasmus, but it just got too fucking wacky. It was getting, just getting way too far out there. You, you love the character and humor of Carnival of Carnage. Yeah, that, that's one thing it has going for it, but I just, I just hate how it plays. And the, and Marasmus coming in every time someone like, uh, or whenever, whenever he pops in to, to, to cast a spell, it's just too messy. And then the fucking bumper car games are so awful. They're not fun. I hate the bumper car gimmick. It's again, one of those things where it's like, okay, yeah, we're going to plug in another game inside of our game. Enjoy here, enjoy these janky bumper car physics, trying to play soccer or collecting ducks for some reason. <laughs> It's just, it's not, it's not TF2 anymore. It set the precedent for what all following Halloween TF2 updates needed to match instead of just keeping it clean, keeping it simple, keeping it as that spooky update with like, you know what? Hey, it's Halloween now. Go onto this map and have your spooky time. And it just, it just made it, it just made it too fucking chaotic. It's just, I, I know I'm, I know I'm not being eloquent with explaining my reasoning for why I don't like this map, but I, hopefully it resonates well. <laughs> Gorge Event is a slightly above average Halloween reskin because it does change certain elements on the map. You know, it, it, like the gameplay is altered on this map. You have different cover. That entire roof area is now accessible and you can play on it. There's a hallway, a pathway that takes you into that upper level. There are actually transformative changes on this map that do affect gameplay. And it makes it for a more interesting experience of Gorge, but with the unfortunate addition of having the Skeleton King and all of the skeletons pop up, which I personally don't think are necessary for this map. The aesthetic of this one is definitely reminiscent of Man Manor, where it's not tearing too far away from what like the Halloween aesthetic should be for Team Fortress 2, but the skeletons on this map keep it in the average territory for sure. It's, it's like just below Hightower, I would say. And this is again like when people started incorporating unnecessary amounts of Halloween bosses into their fucking map. Stop doing that. Stop it. And I, I just don't think it was necessary. Someone is running a power drill in my home right now. Uh, let's see. Hellstone. I hate it. Hellstone sucks. Okay, so what we'll do. Hellstone sucks. Uh, Brimstone sucks. Sinshine sucks. Bloodwater sucks. Hassle Castle sucks. Erebus sucks. Massive cock. Terror, trash. Double Frost, trash. Precipice sucks dick. All of these Halloween maps suffer from the same problems. They're all either Halloween reskins. They all have this weird aesthetic that doesn't quite tie into what the Halloween aesthetic should be for Team Fortress 2. They all cram far too many gimmicks inside of them that do not work from game modes like Payload or for Attack Defend, especially on fucking Erebus. Erebus is terribly designed. All these maps have horrific design flaws. I fucking hate them. And Double Frost is just a winter reskin of, of, of Double Cross. And there's absolutely nothing fucking new. It's, it's just normal. Normal, it's just normal double cross, but hey, look, there's snow on it now. Yay, awesome. I'm gonna go play normal double cross and have the exact same fucking experience. You've given me nothing new. And yeah, Chili, Chili is just an Erebus reskin. So it's the exact, or no, it's not, it's not an Erebus reskin. It's a reskin of, um, um, it's one of these. It's, it's a reskin of an existing Halloween payload map. ICS is the map maker and its maps are shit. You make terrible maps. I hope you know that your maps are not fun and they, they suck shit and you, you do terrible reskins and no one likes them. They're horrible maps. They don't play well. And they were a mistake. Valve should have never added them. Fuck you. Bread space. Fucking terrible. Every, everyone knows why bread space is awful. It's poorly optimized. It's too big. It's too open. It's just a shit map. Frost. So let's see. Spooky Ridge is a recent addition. That's pretty fucking terrible. Frosty. Terrible. Uh, Frost Cliff. Terrible. Polar. Terrible. Hell Train is okay. 
Ghoul Pit, insufferably bad. Coal Pit is on- Sorry, Aaron. Listen, Aaron, buddy, I'm sorry, but Coal Pit is just a reskin of Gravel Pit. There's nothing new- there's no new experience on this one, and it's just- it just has pumpkin bombs on it now. And the map is well made, you've well optimized it, you put a lot of hard work into it, but it's just- it's nothing new. There's no new experience on this, and that's why I've relegated it into the insufferable category. I just- Jesus fucking Christ. It's not- it, it offers no new experiences. There's no- there's no significant transformative adjustments to this map that offer a new experience. And it does not look like a TF2 map. The level of color correction on this map and the aesthetic of this map does not match Team Fortress 2. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I- it's just- I much prefer playing regular Gravel Pit because that looks and feels like a TF2 map. As do many of these other recent additions for Halloween maps. I don't know why they're like trying to do these over-the-top adjustments and changes to the visuals of this map that make it look like it does doesn't belong in Team Fortress 2. You're making Overwatch maps for the game. Stop it! Oh no, I just all, all these all these maps are just so fucking bad. Let me let, let me just let me let me just do quick thoughts on these. Hellstone, too many spells and gimmicks, or, and it's and too many choke points that are just not fun. Brimstone, too many spells and gimmicks and Halloween bosses that are just not fun. Sunshine is just sunshine. It plays the exact same way. No new experiences, and I fucking hate sunshine. Gravestone is just an extremely tight and choky Halloween map where you're pushing a payload through nothing but tiny doorways that are infinitely spammed out by nothing but spells that are just insta killing people left and right. And for some reason, random saw blades that appear left and right is just fucking awful and also ha funny what wacky bumper cars at the end so even if you do cap this map at the end it doesn't fucking matter after you put forth all that effort you still have to play the stupid bumper car gimmick at the end of the game and and lose it sucks dick blood water i fucking hate blood water it's just a bad water reskin it's, it's a reskin of a of a fairly overrated map normal bad water plays okay but then for some reason they cram spells and multiple halloween bosses that can spawn at the same time fuck off it's horrible this map is the definition of clusterfuck. It is a abysmally bad. It looks ugly too. The lighting and color correction and textures they use are just fucking terrible. And then having several bosses on, on one area at the same time with spells being chucked back and forth and all of these tiny chokes? Fuck off! Fuck Valve for adding this, for adding blood water. It's terrible. And Hassle Castle's no better. Hassle Castle is just a reskin of Upward that looks like a goddamn Overwatch map. And then on top of that, you have spells that just do not work on Upward. And the fact you can just... Huck spells directly in to fucking spawn. It's not fun. Okay, then Chili. Chili, which is just a reskin of some other fucking payload map. Is it Terror? I don't. Is it is it Terror or Precipice? I think it's Terror. I think Terror is is. I think these are the reskins of each other because I, I recognize the yeah, Terror and, and Chili and Terror are just reskins of both of these fucking maps. Both of these maps are fucking terrible. Horrific sight lines. Miserably terrible choke points. They're both fucking. Awful. They're both poorly optimized. You have nothing but horrific sight lines into both spawns. They're infinite spam hell. It's just awful. They're terrible. Fuck. They do not play well. Like some, like both of these maps are easily just some of the worst maps that they ever added into this game. They are horrible. Erebus is another instance of a map where spells, didn't they remove spells off of Erebus? They removed, and they removed this, right? Yeah, so, okay, so ICS made Hellstone, Gravestone, Brimstone, Chili, Terra, Frostcliff, and Erebus. Your maps are fucking awful, and they should not be added into the game. They are shit. They play like shit, they're optimized like shit, and no one fucking enjoys them. Erebus is absolutely ass. And they, oh, this, they removed spells from Ghoul Pit and not Erebus? Erebus? Fuck off! Spells do not belong on this map because, again, you have just sight lines that lead into all the spawns, infinitely tiny choke points, and they're just spamming spells into spawn. Precipice is abysmal. Precipice is just a tiny, narrow hallway all the way down the map, infinitely long sniper sight lines, and then a cliff to your right. It is a terrible experience. It is not a fun map. And the last point on Precipice is just upward on fucking crack. It is a massive open bowl with sheer massive walls on either side that give nothing but high ground to the blue team and then red team, sorry, nothing but high ground to the red team and blue team is being funneled down this tiny fucking choke point with a massive sniper sight line going all all the way down that fucking tunnel that they have to come out of, where one fucking sniper can shut down that entire goddamn area of the map. And spells do it no fucking favors too. One of, again, Precipice is another one of just the worst fucking maps they 
ever added to the game. It is shit. There's nothing they can do to improve it. Double Frost is just a reskin of, of, of Double Cross. It's, it's just, there's no point in having this map in the game. They just swap, it's just a texture swap. I have no incentive to play on this. There's no new experience to be had on this map other than seeing, oh look, there's snow now. It's fucking awful. Bread Space, horrifically and poorly optimized. It is trash. It is way too open. Horrifically oppressive in, this, in the presence of a sniper. It takes forever to play this map and it's nothing but an uphill defensive battle for red and it sucks so much cock after that first open area. It is spam and sniper hell. It's just so fucking big. I hate this map so much. Spooky Ridge. Spooky Ridge is insufferably bad as a Halloween map. It's nothing but big open areas funneling the small choke points. Going into big open areas funneling into small choke points. The final point is this weird tower with all these weird pitfalls and open areas you can just fall into. And then it has these stupid goofy little like what are they like uh, Iron Maidens that you can get sucked into and you just fucking die. There's one right outside of your spawn and you go to your right, you just get sucked into it and fucking die. You barely notice that it's there and it just fucking insta-kills you as soon as you walk out? What the fuck? That's not fun. And then you have all these other stupid, dumb, gimmicky map bullshit things scattered across the map. Horrific sniper sight lines. I fucking hate it. Another terrible map. Frosty, insufferably bad capture the flag map. I fuck, it, like, Frosty is the definition of goddamn spaghetti bowl. It is a clusterfuck of a map. You have no idea where to go. And the entire time you're looking for people to fight. And this map is so easy to spawn camp on too. It's insufferably bad for that reason. It's so easy just to park yourself in front of their spawn and just spam into it because their spawn takes you out into a tiny fucking hallway. Then to your hard right, it's just introduces you to the big open area where snipers can just shoot directly into it. Frosty has terrible sight lines. What is wrong? What is wrong? Why are, Why is Valve adding nothing but these terrible maps as of late? Most of them are so bad. And I'm not even done. There's more. You got fucking Frostcliff. Frostcliff is so fucking bad. Frostcliff is just nothing but choke points the entire time with horrific sniper sight lines. I have a video coming out soon, probably, that is just me playing sniper shooting people walking directly out of spawn and killing them one by one. Another ICS map? Color me on fucking surprise! We managed the other day, we managed to stack six engineers, three snipers, and three fucking pyros on the last point, and we fucking held out for 12 goddamn minutes! Horrifically designed, it looks like shit, it does not belong in this game. Polar. Polar is another map that just, just get me out. Wake me up, God. It just, oh. I'm upset. I'm mad. Ghoul Pit. Ghoul Pit sucks. It's not fun. Ghoul Pit is so fucking big. It's just a terribly designed map. It's just, oh my God, I fucking hate it. And then, okay. And then Coal Pit, it is a reskin of an existing map that does not provide me with a brand new experience. It is the same map just with the reskin and then exploding snowman gimmick slapped on top of it. Fuck off, Valve. Stop adding maps like this. Stop going back to the same creators that make shit maps. Stop it. They're terrible. Please, God. No one likes them. Quit adding them into the game. Soul Mill. Also, I forgot Soul Mill. Frostwatch. Also shit. Okay, so Soul Mill. Soul Mill. Soul Mill. How many... <laughs> Okay, let's count, shall we? How many how many fucking versions of Sawmill do we have? We have the Halloween version, we have the Christmas version, we have the regular version, we have the arena version, we have the capture the flag version. We have five versions of Sawmill. Fuck off! We didn't need another reskin of Soul Mill, which gives us nothing new except, oh hey, there's hell now, and now the saw blades don't insta-kill you. Ah. Frostwatch is the definition of half-baked. It needed so much more time in the oven. Frostwatch is just a bunch of rectangular rooms connected by hallways that are the width of a straw. It is just nothing but choke point after choke point after choke point, and it is just not fun. It's another just terrible map. Hideously questionable choice from Valve. Why are you picking these maps? Just stop. Please, stop. None of these maps are fun. They're terrible. They're either nothing but, 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 but spell and Halloween boss spam fests, horrifically optimized maps, or just terribly designed Christmas maps, or just reskins of existing maps that give us nothing new. Quit it.
Okay, now, the rest of these maps have more positives than negatives, for sure. The rest of the maps that are here are original maps that are not dog shit. Thankfully, I have more positive... Okay, Slasher's shit, I lied. Slasher's dog shit. Slasher's too big, it's too open, you have nothing... It's, it's Slasher is literally what happens when you just create a big open box and just dump all of the Halloween bosses and dump all of the spells in there. That's what this is. This is the sandbox map. No one plays the point. It's just a sandbox map for people to experiment with Halloween spells and bosses. Graveyard is the player destruction. This one's okay. This one's up here, kind of in the below average territory. I really like the gimmick of you being able to heal your teammates as a ghost. I actually, I like that a little bit more. We'll put it up here. Sorry, it's arena. My bad. It's arena. So it's it's better than, I like it a little bit more than arena lumberyard. Sorry. Um, Because after you die, you can still serve a purpose, right? You can still go and heal your teammates, right? I like that additional gimmick on top. That's like a nice breath of fresh air that isn't just Halloween spells or Halloween bosses. I, I really enjoyed this map, right? Because it gave us something new that wasn't taking something that was designed for a specific map and then incorporating it into another map that it wasn't designed for and therefore making it not fun. It can get a little bit stalemate-y sometimes, but it's it, it, it's quite good. I'm going to bump it a bit higher. We'll, we'll put it like down here in like the off blast doomsday. It, we'll, we'll put it in this territory as like the special game modes versions that are actually quite fun. Fun. We'll we'll put it in this here. I think it, I think it's deserving of this higher rating. It absolutely has optimization issues. My performance, my game performance on this map is terrible. I, I get like 30 frames, but it's fun. I can omit shit performance if the map is fun. I'm willing to overlook that. Moonshine. Moonshine, I would consider to be like one of the more below average. It's King of the Hill. I like it's it's you know what you know what moonshine is? Moonshine is what Ghost Fort used to be, except without Merasmus. You have the same gimmicks when you capture the point when you capture the point, and you have Halloween spells added on top. Thankfully, the map is big enough to where Halloween spells aren't terrible, but the problem is that it's very open and that you have yeah, someone said snap it's very open and it's all also so big that like half of the map the area where the lake is no one is like ever existing out there it's a large area of the map that just goes unused i feel like they could have just removed that area or like cut it in half down the size and that would make the map flow a lot better beyond that the map is pretty fun i i do enjoy it again because it like it's reminiscent of what ghost fort used to be except they swapped Merasmus for halloween spells which doesn't make up for the fact that it isn't the original ghost fort without the truce but it's still it still kind of scratches that itch it's pretty it's, it's pretty okay uh maple ridge maple ridge Mm. I like it better than Nucleus as a King of the Hill map. I kind of like it better. I'm going to put Nucleus up here and I'm going to put Maple Ridge above it, actually. It's a pretty decent King of the Hill map. I like how the map's point is just slightly raised where you can't really see over it except for that one sight line that takes you across the pipe that leads up to the point. That sight line can be a little bit oppressive at times, but it's pretty easily spammed down and dealt with. And then once you capture the point, it's not you, you, you're not able to just shoot down into the entire enemy team. It's like a nice wide area that you have to take control over that's not high ground mind you but it's still like it's it's still a challenge and the other team has like a chance to push out and they have a couple of decent flanks that they can use to get themselves back onto the point and have a presence only downside is again it's a little bit open it's not super easy to spawn camp thankfully and some areas of the map do largely go unused and i also like that you have this lower area beneath the point that offers another like pathway to flank and that does make it more fun too pit of death is great pit of death is great i like pit of death i like pit of death and i like Monster Bash. Watergate's down here. We'll put you guys above Watergate. So Pit of Death and Monster Bash are just player destruction on maps that are well designed. And these maps are just nothing but fun. They're just incredibly fun, well designed maps, and I love these to death. I rarely have a bad time on these maps. The only problem is both of these maps are at like the end of the contractor tree. So they're almost always lowly populated during the Halloween season. And because Valve has to relegate things to a seasonal update where they're only available for a month out of the year you can't play them outside of that anyway there's a non-event version of monster bash now called adam smash hope it gets added it won't because Val valve does not add non-festive maps guys that they they just simply refuse it has to be christmas or halloween themed otherwise it doesn't get put in the game sorry 
winter themed it has to be winter themed otherwise it doesn't get put in the game uh cauldron is okay cauldron is is a halloween reskin of an existing king of the hill reskin that's not in the game the base map that it uses is pretty fun i enjoy it i like the fact that there aren't spells on this one and that when you capture the point you have different like effects that pop out much like um ghost fort and it does it does play it plays rather well i the crit pumpkins get a little bit annoying on this one i think Think that's the only thing that it has taking away from it but it's another what i would consider to be above average halloween map this one's pretty fun cursed cove is kind of shit i'm gonna put it down here kind of down here like next it's next to hell train I, I didn't go over hell train i forgot cursed cove is player destruction except like three quarters of the map never go used no one plays on this half of the map everyone spawns and then funnels into this horseshoe shaped area there's always one engineer just chilling out up here waiting for someone to walk by him and no one ever does it's nothing but a spam fest out of nothing but tiny choke points on this map it's, it's just not fun it's a fun game mode with a shit map yeah i think uh i much prefer watergate than i do to cursed cove because the base map is just is infinitely worse hell train is very reminiscent of like a silly goofy community map it's not tf2 it's 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 just a, it's a little too out there but i do have fun playing on it right like it makes capture the flag more interesting like adding the halloween gimmicks on top of capture the flag which is a fairly mundane game mode that doesn't work super well for modern tf2 it, it's it's a little bit fun in that regard I, i'm gonna bump it above cursed cove and probably above all of the arenas but i'll, I'll plop it next to two fort because it's still capture the flag it's, it's slightly better than two fort i'll say and yeah it plays like convoy it's it, it's reminiscent of convoy laughter is very very fun dare i say yeah laughter is probably the second best halloween map in my opinion it's just a solid king of the hill map snipers don't completely dominate every and just don't dominate the entire point because the only perch they have is so easily spammed out by literally anyone it's it's just the perfect size it has just the right amount of verticality it has awesome fun flanks the fun house gimmick is okay the tunnel of love flank largely goes unused and when people kind of remember that it's there it's not the best but it's just really really fun it's like i have so much fun on laughter and yeah it does have performance problems yeah and but again it's the, it's an instance where it has these performance problems but i can overlook them for the fact that it's just such a fun map and the bombs gimmick like there's not too many of them to where it's fucking annoying megalo is pretty bad it's 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 in this territory here where you can have you can have some fun moments it's uh, a big open ball that everyone can just shoot out doubt into it's just soldier and sniper hell and then engineers can kind of camp in that upper area where most people are funneled into i'm gonna bump it lower it's it's kind of down here with cursed cove it's just i'm gonna put them above the arena maps though like they're like these two maps are above all the arena maps but they're just they're not fun molder grove molder grove is a bit is a bit tight molder grove is tight it's a bit too enclosed the king of the hill area like the central point is pretty fun but and i like the gimmick where you have like this mini game that takes you into like this 3v this 3v3 which is pretty interesting but the 3v3 area is just a big open bowl once again that is just completely shut down by one sniper so i feel like the the mini the mini game map needed a bit more tlc beyond that it's it's kind of just okay i actually no, i'm gonna bump it to like up here probably like up here i'd say probably better than harvest in my eyes farmageddon farmageddon is almost up here but it's kind of up here where maple ridge is the map is pretty big like pit of death and monster bash are a lot they're, they're a lot more tight they're more fleshed out and polished right farmageddon is just really big there's a lot of areas on the map that go unused a lot of useless flanks on this map and it's a bit too flat and open where it's a little too too easily dominated by like the presence of one really good guy like one good soldier or one good sniper or one good scout can completely dominate this map it suffers from harvest syndrome and also being able to like shoot across the main pumpkin that's pretty open as well and this map also has abysmal performance issues or, or rather it's not player destruction you have to like shoot the zombie things or whatever they are yeah but it, it plays okay i think if i were to play any kind of player destruction style map i would much prefer pit of death and monster bash so this one's just fairly mediocre los, Mu los muertos 
Theros is probably up here. Yeah, I would say it's slightly less, it's slightly worse than Cauldron. It's pretty big. You have a lot of areas that kind of go unused. The central point still plays pretty well, but just the presence of spells on this map suck because it, you, it's so easy to spam spells into the areas where most of the players walk out of, and it's just, it's just not fun. If they removed spells off of Los Muertos, I would love this map so much more. Spells ruin it, honestly. Spells ruin a lot of maps. If they got rid of spells, it, it would be up here. It'd be in the very fun category, but because spells are on this map, it's down here. Uh, Synthetic also kind of belongs down here in like the gimmicky spell King of the Hill maps. This one's, all, this one's a slightly better than Los Muertos, where it's a bit, it's a bit more, you know, well polished and, and, and tightened up. There's a couple of pretty gnarly sniper sight lines, but you have some decent flanks you could take like under the point and also kind of around. And there's a lot of decent cover that, that pretty much takes you up all the way to the point and you can hide behind to get, get away from those snipers and shit. The mini boss Frankenstein kind of thing, I personally don't really enjoy. This map does not need a Halloween boss, but it plays pretty well beyond that. It certainly plays a lot better than Los Muertos. Let's see, we have a couple of winter maps here. Altitude, I, gen I genuinely think altitude is terrible first point on altitude is just a horrible uphill battle for blue team it's not fun pushing up this massive steep steep cliff and then if you take out the far right spawn you have this nasty twisting flank that wraps you all the way around behind where the first point is but then if one engineer is plopped into that little cubby area that whole area of the map is so fucking bad second point gives blue a little bit of an uphill advantage where they have the high ground going into that point but it's so easily spammed out by all the different flank routes that red can take and it makes the red side an uphill battle and it's awful for both sides to like try to push into you sometimes have an interesting experience on that second point but it's just it's just not very good and then the last stage is having the entirety of blue team funnel into a series of super tiny choke points into a low ceilinged enclosed final point area and it's just it's just not fun overall i have mostly miserable experiences playing on altitude and it's just not a fun map in my eyes some serious design flaws the only highlight this map has is the second point that's where most of the fun is had on this map but the first point and the last point are just fucking awful uh cascade is a reskin of a competitive map and because it's a competitive map it does not play very well for 12v12 cascade ha suffers from from viaduct syndrome i'll pop it up here it suffers from viaduct syndrome where you have all of your options that take you to the point but then they just funnel you into a tiny little area it's a big wide funnel point and then a big wide funnel and then you have the area underneath that you can use to try to flank to the other side but it's just a tiny choke point that people can spam out really easily and it's just so open too. like the central point isn't raised enough and the cover they put on there with the rocks and the wooden walls is just so haphazardly placed that it's just it's messy and playing around all of that shit is just not fun and it's not enough cover because you plop one sniper on the battlements or the far left or kind of the far right peeking around that wall and it just shuts down the entire map and for the brief period where I tried out competitive Highlander playing on this map, it fucking sucked. One sniper just shuts down all of the fun. It's just, it's awful. It really is an awful map. I, I rarely have fun on it, and I think it's hideously overrated, and it's just, it was not a good addition into the game as, as an official map in my eyes. Crasher. Crasher is fucking awesome much like the um the reskin of lumberyard this gave us something new but it was just it's just so fun oh my fucking god it's just yes it's stupid yes it's gimmicky but holy fuck is this game mode so fun i'm likely looking at this through rose tinted glasses because we've been we've been fed so much trash from valve over the past five years that when we got crasher in the game you're finally being fed like we're being given a good meal finally some good fucking food in the midst of this gruel and slop and the reason why it's not in comes here is because it very quickly fell into like metagame territory where it's very like the established meta has already been been set if you're not running the meta if you're not running the right class with the right loadout with the right weapons as the giant then you're gonna lose 100 of the time and also the map is so fucking open that snipers have free terrain over the entire thing and also there are a lot of things that shouldn't work like certain stun locks should not be allowed to work on the giants but the fact it is this kind of cluster fucky kind of this unpolished unrefined 
thing is kind of reminiscent of older TF2 where Valve was like, okay, this could work. And then they kind of, you know, put it in and it's, it's just really fun. Again, I feel like I'm heavily biased towards this one because it was, it was just good when we got it and it was fun and it just, it stood out as this fun addition compared to all the other garbage maps we've been getting up until, up until this past year. So I think I, I'm again, very biased with it for that reason, but it, it really is just so much fun. It really is. It was a nice breath of fresh air to have some think as fun as this put into the game. Bone Saw is pretty shit. Bone Saw is an Overwatch map. Bone Saw is through and through, designed aesthetically and play-wise like an Overwatch map. It just it sucks. It's it's this really, really over-the-top payload race map. You toss a Halloween boss in there, you have all these weird and wacky twists and turns. You put a fucking death run game mode at the end, so it doesn't even matter who wins at the end. It's just why. There's too much shit crammed into one. I'm gonna put it in pretty bad actually. This this is what Halloween has devolved into. Like, look how far we've come from Harvest Event to this. This is back when things is were simple and it didn't need to be complex. You had like one simple gimmick or one simple boss with a Halloween reskin that looked like it belonged in the game all the way to something that looks, feels, and plays like a fucking Overwatch map. It's just too fucking much. This map also has a fuckload of useless flanks, a lot of pathways that just go completely unused, far too many choke points. It's a big fucking spaghetti bowl. It's just not fun. It is not a fun map. And then the final stage when you're capping the saw and trying to break the gravestone, the, the enemy team has this upper advantage in this big room where they can just shoot down on that bowl that is the final capture area. And that is awful to deal with. Like the guy who made this map, stick to cosmetics, man. Don't, don't make maps. Stick to making, stick to making hats and not maps. Seriously. Rumford. Uh, sorry, sorry to end on a lackluster note, but I've not played on Rumford yet. So I don't have an opinion on Rumford. Sorry. It took we it took a couple days. It took two days. It took four hours. It took four hours and some change. But uh we got there in the end. Let me do a quick perusal to make sure that all of my ratings are official and exactly where I want them to be. And that's it. Uh -huh.